Me male 35 My wife, female 34, has been having an affair with a man at work for three months. Us, we've been together for five years other than a seven-month breakup after our first year, my doing as she was still reeling from her previous breakup and was not ready to be with me. We got back together, dated, got engaged, and married. We've been married for two years. I'm successful, good-looking, fit, and stable. We bought a house last fall thanks to me working two jobs. I had trust issues in the past after my ex cheated on me twice. I married my wife because I considered her the most trustworthy person I'd ever met. She has a rather severe untreated anxiety disorder. It led to our first breakup and has made things hard many times. We had probably the worst winter of our lives. We've been trying to have children for two years but are having significant problems. This winter was a failed surgery for her, IVF round which is extremely hard to take, almost complete failure to produce viable embryos, our dog, essentially our child, nearly died, and I was working two jobs, almost every day, rarely seeing sunlight or having days off. I thought this spring we would reconnect and heal. Covid was ending, and we could enjoy our house finally. About a month ago, I started to notice a problem. We had a hard winter and were already distant, but now it was worse. Our relationship was always based on communication, and I was always the one to get her through hardships. Now, though, she wasn't talking to me. Our already bad ex-life worsened, and she started refusing me flat out. Her excuses made no sense, and I knew something big had changed. D day, last Saturday, I finally sat her down and demanded to know what was going on. She said she was questioning everything. I continued to pull more from her. She then said she wasn't in love with me anymore. She still loved me as a person but wasn't in love. I immediately knew. I've seen it time and time again. That's what you feel when someone else is involved. She confirmed. She has feelings for a man at work she's never had for anyone else. She confirmed he had kissed her a couple of months back. Q devastation. I lost it in an upset way. I started to collapse. I asked her to stay with her dad, and she refused. I asked for couples counseling, and she declined saying there was no point. I eventually went for a drive and called my parents for a massive breakdown. I didn't sleep that night at all. D-Day plus one, I spent the next day at her dad's. We're friends, and he was distraught. We talked for six hours. Eventually landed on talking to her again to see if there was a chance. I was and am still convinced she had a major mental breakdown in the winter and the guy at work was there at the right time. I went home and asked if she had anything to say or if anything had changed. She said no. I asked her if we were done. She said maybe. I asked if she wanted a divorce. She said, yes, I want a divorce. I got more from her. They were sneaking around the office, having make-out sessions every time they saw each other a couple of times a week. They had constant communication for months. She was talking to him when she was beside me in bed, on the couch, driving somewhere, even at the store. Then the bomb, one morning three weeks ago, she left early after kissing me goodbye and met him. They had X in the back seat of her car. She said she feels for him, something she's never felt for anyone ever before. He is married and has a three-year-old. Currently not working on a separation. Since then, she finally agreed to stay with her family. Last Sunday night was the last time she stayed at the house on the couch. This week has been brutal beyond words. I found a lawyer and contacted a real estate agent. If this was how it would be, I needed out ASAP. I had the first two panic attacks of my life. Yesterday I was in the city looking for apartments. I hated everything about them. 
I was distraught and had another breakdown in my car. I started texting her, saying I knew she loved me and was happy. Why did she run when it got hard instead of trying to fix it? The message changed everything, I do love you. I was happy. I don't know why I ran. I'm so lost. Is reconciliation possible, so I had her come over to the house to talk. She was upset and remorseful, finally. We talked a lot. We had sex, I know. I essentially laid out how we could move forward, she has to be 200% in trying to fix this. She has to fix this. I won't. She needs to be desperate for me to take her back and do everything possible. We both go to individual therapy. She gets proper care and possibly medication for her anxiety. She, obviously, can never see him or speak to him again. She has to quit her job and find a new one. We go to couples therapy at some point. She fully accepts that I could decide at any moment that I can't handle it and I'd leave. She'd have lost him and me. Either we sell the house and work on this while living separately, or we spend the next two months trading off time at the home while working on things and reassess after that. The vast questions, not looking for answers to these necessarily. Just putting them out there will I ever trust her again? Will I ever get the images of him inside her out of my head? He may give up on her, and she'll run back to me, not having even made a decision herself. If she is forced into one conclusion, does it mean anything? Is it even worth it? She has enormous difficulties with affection and intimacy. Things I need in abundance. Can I continue to live without them if she can't get that fixed? If we split, I will eventually heal and move on. I may be changed forever, but I have much to offer someone else. It's almost impossible to see, but one day I'd be able to move on. Should I just do that? Let my marriage go and find something better. Thanks for reading. I'll be around to answer questions and talk. I learned years ago leadership is not about when things goes well, anybody can be a leader when things goes well, leadership is about when things don't go well. Real leaders shine, I can say the same about a marriage. Marriage is not about the good times it's about working though the hard times, OP's wife showed her true colors when times got hard. Let's see what the community think. Redditor's comments Redditor 1. The problem is she doesn't t know what she wants, she's in the affair fog. To get her out of it you need to go ahead with the divorce. Redditor 2. You also have to tell the AP's wife. Don't warn your wife first, just tell the woman. Regardless of what you guys decide to do. She deserves to know so AP wife can make the same decisions and take the same steps you are. OP follow up. She apparently knows and is refusing to separate. They're still together. Apparently, he wants out but she won't let him go. Redditor 3. That's what your wife told you, right? Why would you believe that, especially now? I bet your wife is lying about that too. Call the AP's wife, just to talk and get the real information. Redditor 4. That might have a lot to do with why she suddenly is wanting to stay together. If his wife is preventing him from leaving and interrupting some fantasy they had of being together, or so he claims, she might be all a sudden lost and need help. I would be careful. OP follow-up. That is definitely on my mind. If she's forced into something without actually making her own decision, then what good is the decision? Update later this week, thanks for listening and I will see you at the conclusion of OP decision, like and subscribe.